A constant is like a variable in the sense that it holds a value. With one exception, constants can't be changed. They are constant. To create a constant, you can use the resource drop-down menu, and the last option is define constants, shift control N. Or, you can click on the plus sign next to the folder for constants and expand the folder, and then choose either all configurations or default. If you're planning to release your game in multiple forms or for multiple platforms, you may have created different configurations for your game. Like let's say, a configuration for a Windows release and a configuration for an Android release. Well, just to better manage it, you'll notice that the constants drop-down folder in your resource tree not only has all configurations, but also has default, which is the default configuration. But if we had a Windows configuration, it would be there, and an Android configuration would be there. This is just so you can have configuration-specific constants. However, if your constants are used globally across all platforms, then you can just use the All Configuration section. So for now, I'm going to double-click on All Configurations. Now we're presented with a window called User Defined Constants. In this window, we can give our constant a name and its value. We can simply click on the text field for name and type in what we want to call it. For this example, I'm going to use the speed of light. In math, many constants are immutable measurements. Like the speed of light, it never changes. Then I'll type in the value of speed of light. And that's it. The common naming practice for constants is to capitalize every letter of your constant and use underscores for spaces. As you can see, that's what I've done with speed of light. At the bottom, we have a few buttons. If I click on insert, I'll get a new constant field above the field I already had selected. If I click add, I'll get a new constant field at the very bottom of my constants list. Clicking delete will delete the currently highlighted constant, which is both the name and the associated value. Clicking on clear will delete all of your constants. And since you can't undo this, a dialog box will pop up warning you and asking you if you're sure you want to delete all of your constants. Up and down will shift the currently highlighted constant up or down in your constants list. Clicking on sort will alphabetize your constants list. Clicking on save will save out your constants list as a text file. Clicking on load will load up any previously created constants text file. It could have been one that was saved out from GameMaker or it could have been one you created on your own through something like Notepad. All you have to do is type in the name of a constant, the equal sign, and then the value. Something to keep in mind about your constants, they are created first as the game starts up, which means they can't reference anything in your game because nothing's been created yet. Some of the games I create use a grid structure. Like let's say a 16x16, 16 32x32, 16, 32, or 64x64 64 64, and scaling up powers of 2. What I like to do is create a constant that's called either grid size or cell size. And then I simply type in the size of the cell. I typically use this constant to create offsets. Let's say one of my objects was lying right in the middle of my room, but I wanted to shift them over into the next cell. Well, I can use the constant cell size. I can just say something like, x plus equals cell size. There are a lot of other constants you might want to use. You could use any kind of static increment. For example, let's say if you were making Space Invaders and you shot an enemy, you got 100 points. Well, you could create a constant for that. You could type in enemy score and give it the value of 100. Then, anytime in your code, if you want to increment the current score after killing an enemy, you just increment it by enemy score. And since this value doesn't change, it's a constant, instead of a regular variable. So if you find yourself creating variables that never change, it might be best to turn it into a constant, considering constants are global and use up slightly less resources. In conclusion, just remember, a constant is like a variable, but it just doesn't change.